Hi everyone, Mac here from Monarch's Leisure World. Today we're going to be looking at this Northern Spirit. This is a new 2020 model. Uh, as you may know, our Northern Spirit is an RV Care exclusive product. Uh, so only dealers who are part of the RV Care network can stock and sell these products. And so let's dig into this model, the 2557 RV, and talk about what makes it so special. So starting at the front of the unit, you're going to see a really beautiful front molded fiberglass nose cap. Um, nicely finished with this automotive paint, so you get that contrast between the dark and the light. Also some nice bright LED lights on the nose. We do get dual propane tanks and a 12 volt power tongue jack. And you can see our spare tire conveniently located underneath the A-frame or the coupler of this unit. So it's easy to get to, you're not crawling underneath the trailer to get to it. Looking down our campsite, uh, we do have our front pass-through baggage compartment right here. Now you will see a little bit of a difference in this pass-through compartment. We're gonna dive into that a little bit once we go inside, but some key points to point out here. Um, Northern Spirit's really thoughtful in their end product, how the users are going to use it. So they've included the uh, stabilizer jack adapters for your drills. Um, conveniently located here in the baggage compartment. It's got its own little clip there so you don't lose it motion sensor lights, oversized switches for your front nose cap lights, as well as, get in here, there we go, fishing rod storage, or any small components that you don't want to getting uh, tangled or, or lost in your baggage compartment. This is gonna keep it all separate for you. Now the baggage compartment doors have a nice magnetic door catch. I always am a big fan of that. And right beside it, you can see we have our solar prep. So this is a, an industry standard plug, really, really nice. You don't have to rely on a specialized plug that only one brand makes. You can use just the industry standard plug that comes with most uh, 12 volt solar panels. So really thoughtful that they put that in there for you. Coming down a little further into our main campsite area, we're gonna be located under our power awning. This has the uh, 12 volt LED lights as well as our outdoor speakers. Um, Something else I really want to point out while we're on the campsite is our axle setup. So the Northern Spirits I've noticed are really good about this. Um, you're going to notice that the axles are going to be located more to the rear of the coach, but they're also going to be spread wide apart. A nice wide trek axle setup. Um, this is going to do a couple of things. So the axles being to the rear means the coach is going to track straighter. A wider stance means it's going to be more stable on the road. So this is a really good travel trailer for going long, long distances. They also pair that setup with some lion's head tires. Now these come with one year of no questions asked warranty, as well as two years of free roadside assistance and five years of tread warranty. So really great tires. They've got a lot of confidence in these things. You're ready to hit the road and go a long, long ways. Coming a little further back to our entry door, you'll notice they've outfitted the coach with the LCI solid steps. We rave about these all the time. They flip up inside the coach. They've got feet that rest on the ground. They're super solid. Doesn't get any better. We've got a convenient uh, dog leash location so you can clip your dog to that uh, D-ring there and they're not gonna run off on you. It's nice that it's at the back of the coach. They're not bothering anybody as they're walking by your campsite. And that's right beside our really nice outdoor kitchen here. So the outdoor kitchen's outfitted with our 110 volt plugs as well as this 110 volt refrigerator. You fit enough beer for one night probably, depends who you invite, as well as our two burner propane cooktop. So this is gonna be good for breakfast, uh, fish fry, anything that you'd like to do on a cooktop, you can do it outside, keep the mess and the smell outside of your trailer. Now the back side of this trailer, there's only a couple of things to note. We do have our black water uh, flush located right here. So that's a nice spot for it. Uh, it's easy to rinse out those tanks. This unit's also coming from factory with a backup camera system. Uh, it is a wireless system with the included monitor that plugs into your truck, so that's convenient too. And then we also have this four inch steel square bumper. Uh, we have a ton of accessories that you can bolt onto that bumper for bikes or just random cargo. So let us know your needs. We can find you a product that'll suit it. So we're now standing inside the coach of the 2557 RB. Uh, we just walked into our main entry door right here. I do want to note that most of our controls are conveniently located right by the entry door. One central panel for everything from your slide out to your awning to your main light switches. 
as well as all your holding tank levels, it's nice that it's all in one spot. So you're not fumbling trying to figure out where the, that special switch is. Now, I mentioned before that this 2557 is going to be really good for long distance travel. Um, the setup and the build of the trailer is ideal for that, especially if you have a half ton. But let's talk a little bit about storage. So right here is our main entertainment area. So we've of course got our standard TV, our overhead cabinets for movies. We've got the smartphone uh, charging pad, which is really cool. USB outlets, as well as our multimedia center. This will play CDs, DVDs, Bluetooth from your phone, and it controls all of your speakers. There's good storage underneath the TV as well, a couple of shelves, but you'll notice it doesn't go the full depth. Uh, that's because this trailer has a little bit of a trick hidden up its sleeve. Uh, it's actually located in behind our entertainment stand. So this is a really neat feature we've never seen before in a coach of this size. Um, you know, this is a mid-size half-ton towable, and we've got this huge hidden storage, kind of like a giant walk-in pantry. So built-in shelves on this side and coat hooks on this side with motion sensor lighting. Now this is a great spot to throw your shoes, extra coats, all your dry goods. It expands your storage capabilities so much in a trailer this size. So like I said, ready for those long haul trips. Now you can see once it's rolled inside, uh, we do have heavy duty hinges on one side as well as a couple of roller wheels to support it. But this uh, nice little gate latch is all it needs to keep it closed when you're going down the road. Let's switch it up and take a look across from the entertainment stand. Uh, again, just end user in mind, it makes sense that your main seating area is going to be right across from the TV. And here we've got a couple of manual reclining theater seats. Now, both sides are going to have two cup holders to themselves, as well as our center console for all your remotes and everything like that. Super convenient. Um, pretty straightforward, but really comfortable seating. Uh, it's going to see a lot of use when you're living in this thing. We also have wraparound windows, 360 degree windows on our slide. Um, this is a sign that we have laminated walls here, so good quality. And then we also have our pleated fabric shades that are gonna last a good long time. LED lights all throughout as well, and there is an oversized switch in the slide out to control those, easy to find in the dark. So like I mentioned, this is that oversized switch for your lights in the slide out, really easy to find, especially if you're walking from the bedroom. Um, but right here next to me is our large U dinette. Uh, really greatly designed. Um, the table doesn't take up all of your leg room, but it's still big enough to use every seat and have people um, have their own space. Now there is storage underneath the seating here too, and it's accessible through these cupboard doors. But one side is a little bit smaller than the other, and that is to accommodate your pets. So there's a little day bed here for your pet, as well as a couple of uh, bowls, one for food, one for water, and it just conveniently slides away. You can also detach the uh, food drawer from the bed and place it wherever you like to. Uh, so again, they're keeping that end user in mind. Let's talk a bit about the kitchen. The kitchen is a nice L-shaped countertop. I prefer an L-shaped countertop. I think it gives you a lot more usable space. It also comes with this extendable piece here that gives you just a little more room when you need it. Our sink is a double bowl stainless steel under mounted sink. Uh, really nice depth to it. It's really usable, pretty close to a house size. But I do wanna take a moment to talk about these custom fit covers for the sink. So when you need that extra space, they're here, but when you don't, they're often in the way. Uh, Northern Spirit acknowledged that and they actually gave you a special storage cubby just for these custom covers. Now it's tough with all the factory stuff in the way, but they fit just right up above the sink. So they're there and not in your way when you don't need them there. Just below our sink, we do have a mounted bottle opener here. So you have no excuse to not have a cold one in your hand. And right below the bottle opener, we actually have three drawers. Uh, they're a full depth drawer on these nice, uh, fully extended roller ball glides. And uh, they're a full wood construction drawer, so they're going to be nice and durable. They'll last a long time. Um, but having drawers is really important in a trailer for organization and bringing your stuff out to you. You can see a 110 volt power outlet right there uh, mounted to the wall. Um, that's why I like the L-shaped countertops. You can actually leave a small appliance there and it's not in the way. Uh, up above the sink, we've got some nice deep 
You see the box for her backup camera. We've got nice deep cupboards here. They are deep enough that you can stack a full-size plate. Uh, common question that we get asked a lot is, can I fit a plate? In this one, you can. Right above our cooktop, we actually have a stainless steel microwave, and that's mounted over top of our uh, vented range hood. Um, so that'll help get all the smoke out of your camper when I'm cooking. And then underneath that, we actually have our bifold cover uh, Furion cooktop. Now the glass cover is really handy. It'll open up more counter space for you, but it also acts as a backsplash when you're cooking. And then we have these dual lights here. You can light up just the dials on LEDs, kind of like a night light so people can find their way. And then you can also light up the oven. So really nice cooktop. Uh, I think a nice upgrade over the Suburbans, uh, much needed for sure. Right beside that is our refrigerator. This is a pretty standard two-way refrigerator. This is a Dometic. Uh, what's really neat about the new Dometics is that they're actually a seven cubic foot. So it's kind of in between the standard six and the upgraded eight. Gets you a little more fridge space. So that's pretty cool too. And there's the freezer for you. So now we're going to switch things up and actually talk a bit about the bathroom, which is in the very rear of the coach, right by your entry door. So that's super convenient if you have guests in the campsite, they can just come right into the bathroom, not have to go through the whole trailer. I also like rear baths for the amount of space they have. So we've got great counter space on our vanity here. Lots of, lots of room for you to put your stuff down right beside the sink. Um, our plumbed in sink, of course, has hot and cold water oversized light switch so it's easy to find at night and there is also motion sensor foot lighting in the bathroom so if you are finding your way in the dark you can up above the sink is our mirrored medicine cabinet it's kind of a double door design so we've got lots of shelf space lots of storage room for all of your bathroom stuff Now, just underneath the vanity, there is no storage because that's actually our outdoor kitchen. So just so you know, uh, a lot of people ask that question. Looking at the very back wall, there is a window here looking out of the rear of the trailer and above, a little more storage, kind of making up for that outdoor kitchen uh, underneath the sink. So good spot for all the toilet paper, toilet chemical, that kind of stuff. We also have a 12 volt powered fan in the bathroom, our standard foot flush toilet, pretty typical of what you'd see in a trailer like this. And then we have our nice large shower. Now the shower is really cool. This actually has a triple pane glass door entry. So that opens up your entryway to be a little bit wider than standard. I find the height in this shower is fantastic. Normally I struggle with actually showering in a trailer, um, but I've got lots of elbow room, got lots of height, and of course our standard shower head with hot and cold water. But the full surround is good because it's going to keep things watertight. And again, I really like that entry door. So last but not least, we're actually in the very front of the coach. This is the master bedroom. Master bedroom is going to feature a full queen size bed here, as well as all of our standard storage that you'd expect. So we have our overhead cabinets. Uh, it's one big large pass through with three large opening doors. And then on either side of the bed, we also have our hanging closet space with mirrors. Um, they're a full depth closet. Beside each bed, there's also these little bedside tables. Um, that's kind of your pass-through baggage compartment. They built off of that, which is really neat. And below those bedside tables is actually charging power. So this side has USBs and one 10 volt outlets. Uh, I believe on the same side on the other. So two USBs, two one 10 volt outlets. But the master bedroom is also hiding a trick up its sleeve and it's underneath the bed. So I mentioned before when we were chatting about our outdoor storage, how we had that outcropping. It's built off of this. So this is the magic bed system created by Northern Spirit. Uh, this is an exclusive feature to the product line. Again, it is an exclusive product line to RV care dealers, but this more than doubles your bedroom storage capacity. And it really lays it out in a super neat and organized way. So we've got a bank of drawers on one side, as well as open cubbies on the other, a second doggy day bed, motion sensor LED lights, and they even include a small garbage bin and your laundry basket as well. And it gives it its own little home when you're traveling. So this is a really neat design. We've never seen it in anything else. And these guys pulled it off really, really well. If I hadn't showed you this feature, you would have never known it was there. All right, guys, I wanted to thank you for coming along on this walkthrough of the new 2020 Northern Spirit 2557RB. 
The Northern Spirit line has been outstanding. These guys are really using their noggins when they're coming up with these floor plans and they're putting features in that we've never seen anywhere else. Now a couple key components to remember about this floor plan. If you're a couple looking for a half ton towable unit that's going to do you well on long term trips, this is it. Uh, some really neat storage in behind the uh, entertainment stand with that walk-in uh, pantry design as well as the magic bed system. It's going to give you a lot of opportunity for storage that you're not going to see in other trailers and uh, it's going to treat you really well along the road. So if you have more questions or you want to see more trailers like this, make sure to reach out. Uh, you can see us online at MyNerdsLeisureWorld.com or you can give us a call. Keep in mind we now have two locations to serve you better. One here in Weyburn and also in Watrous, Saskatchewan. I hope to see you soon.